Hi, Insta. Well, hey, world, because I'm going to put this on YouTube. So, hi, world. Especially my men, because this is a video that I'm making specifically for my men. So, I have made a top 10 list of self-care tips that I want to give to my men. Um, I know that you guys go through a lot. You don't really have an outlet. You don't even have the opportunity to spend time alone because you're always hustling. You're always trying to make things work for the family. You're taking care of spouses. You're taking care of children. So I want to give you a list and give you some ideas of some things that you can do to kick back and just relax and kind of just let some steam off, bro. Because at the end of the day, you deserve to pamper yourself just like anyone else. And it's not just physically, it's mentally, it's spiritually, anything that's going to help you push forward and prosper in life. So stay tuned and I'm going to give you a list of 10 things that not only I do, but I research and a lot of other men do as well and it helps them be successful and be prosperous so i'm going to share this with you and i pray and hope that you enjoy it and you like it and you comment love you thank you so the first self-care tip that i want to share with you is super obvious but a lot of people don't do it number one is spend time alone and this doesn't have to be an excessive amount of time. Like, don't isolate yourself from the world, but take some time every day, every week, at least an hour a day or 15 minutes a day, whatever you can afford. Take some time to yourself and just sit in stillness. Do something you enjoy. Um, we're going to get to it later, but there's other things on this list that you can do during this time that you're spending alone. And I want you to do this every day, every single day. Um, if you have to get up early in the morning to make this happen, you have to spend time alone because when you are constantly distracting yourself and you're not giving your time, yourself time to like process what is going on in your life, you're basically suppressing problems and issues and situations that you can be facing head on instead of letting them get bigger and bigger and bigger to huge issues. So what you should do every day is reflect, reflect on the day ahead the day before or reflect on days going forward um just kind of plan you know yesterday this triggered me i was upset and this is how i'm gonna avoid that today so you know just take some time alone fellas listen to some music listen to a podcast do anything but you have to take time alone you can't keep running from life and you can't keep using people to kind of suppress what's going on in your life because you're going to make each other miserable okay all right self-care tip number two fellas so what i want you to do huh spending time alone this is a way that you can spend time alone go ahead and set you an appointment to get a booty butt naked body down massage when I tell you, you will appreciate this so much. Your body will appreciate it. Your mind will appreciate it. Get you a 60 minute, whatever you can afford. If you can get 30 minutes, 45 minutes, I suggest a 90 minute. But if you get whatever you can afford once a month, get you a massage. And that can be your, your time alone. And during that time, not only are you relieving stress, but you are alone. You don't have anyone there to bother you. You're not distracted. You're able to think about the day. You can reflect. You can meditate. You can pray. You can do whatever you want for this hour and a half, 90 minutes, whatever you choose. So that's a great way to spend some alone time is get you a massage, baby. They have Massage Envy where you can literally get a membership and pay monthly and go every month. And I think they start at 50 bucks and they probably go up to like 100. I'm not sure. But get one. You deserve it, boo. Get you a massage. Take all them clothes off and get rubbed down with the baby oil. It's popping. I promise. All right. Self-care tip number three. And this is awesome. I really like this. And I can myself attest to this that this fucking works. Because when I was in Charlotte and I was going through the worst depression I had ever dealt with in my entire life, I did this and this shit worked wonders. So number three is exercise more. 
and watch what you digest. So you want to be very careful what you're watching on television and the things that you might be reading, following. You definitely want to be very mindful of the things you're digesting, not only visually, but what you're eating. Like, cut out fast food, point blank fucking period. Cook as much as possible. Cook your own food. Um, I'm not really into, like, the veganism, and I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm, you know, I'm just saying cut back on certain things. Eat in moderation. Don't eat everything. I'm a meat lover, so I'm sorry. Um... At the end of the day, exercising, that's another way you can spend time alone. Take an hour a day and go to the fucking gym. Run on the treadmill, jog on the treadmill for 30 minutes. Pump you some motherfucking weights. Do do some goddamn squats, deadlifts, whatever the fuck you want to do. But go exercise because let me tell you, not only are you going to be feeling your fucking self, but your body is going to start forming into the work that you're putting in. So you're going to be feeling yourself. You're going to start getting compliments from bitches. Your confidence is going to automatically boost because you're going to love what you see every time that you work out. So go work out, man, an hour a day. Bye-bye, family. Bye, wife. Bye, kids. If you got to get up 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm telling you, it's popping. It's so quiet at 5 o'clock in the morning. Nobody is up. Nobody is bothering you. Nobody is talking to you. I'm going to have to get up and move because the sun's going down. But, yeah. So, like, at the end of the day, definitely, uh, hold up, definitely take you some time out to go exercise and to watch what you digest. I'm bad, bitch. Yeah, I'm bad, bitch. Did you miss me? I miss my rap, bitch. <laughs> All right. So self-care tip number four is don't medicate. Meditate. So I absolutely love meditation as well. That's something else that I learned to do while I was in Charlotte and going through depression once again. Um, meditating is amazing, though, because... Once you learn how to do it and you actually fall into the trance of meditation, you will connect yourself with parts of yourself that you never knew existed. The first time that I actually experienced meditation, it was mind blowing. Like I never knew that you could sink into your your own self like that. And it's amazing. Like, you connect with the spiritual realm. And I like that because I love connecting with my ancestors. My grandmother has passed away. My daughter's passed away. So, fellas, medicating? No, 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 no. Because a lot of the men I know, that's the way they deal with their shit. Um, the guy that I was pregnant by was a alcoholic. Like, ridiculously addicted to alcohol and it was so sad to sit there and watch but that was his way of dealing with life he smoked cigarettes and drank fucking beer all day long like it was crazy 40s downing him and he was this big so no he can't hold shit anyway (laughs) um some people smoke some people fuck some people manipulate people some people steal some people fight some people are violent you know stop medicating okay period don't snort coke don't hit no heroin don't beat up bitches don't do none of that don't indulge in nothing that's going to bring you negativity and harm meditate what i want you to do is learn how to sit down and meditate with purpose have an intention what are you feeling that day okay i'm angry i want to know why i'm angry what made me angry and what can i learn from this anger And that's what I want you to write down. And then I want you to close your eyes. Go to YouTube. Matter of fact, underneath this video, I will direct you to some of the guided meditations that I use. But YouTube is great for guided meditations. It will literally give you a million that you can choose from and whatever you're feeling that day. Go and meditate and just let it go. Let it go. But stop medicating because all you're doing is suppressing it, making it worse because you're pissing the demons inside of you off and then you're adding to them by bottling all the negative shit that you feel. So stop regurgitating all that negative shit on the world, especially people that don't deserve it. And start meditating and releasing that shit 
and converting it into positive energy. When you meditate, that's what you do. You're letting it go and converting it and bringing it back as positive. I learned this from that negative experience, okay? All right, number five coming up. All right, so tip number five is going to be less work, more family time. Now, I had to learn this shit the hard way when my grandmother passed away suddenly like what the fuck because first off in my life I did the same thing I learned this from my father so this is why I'm kind of comparing my life to you guys because I'm modeling some shit that I learned from my dad so I'm pretty sure this is kind of the root and maybe why you do it as well so that's the only reason why I'm comparing the two but um I learned to work your ass off, like have multiple jobs, work as much as you possibly can, save as much money as you possibly can, because that's what life is all about. Thank you, Bright Lights, because that's what life is all about. And, you know, it kind of is. This is America. It's capitalistic. So you have to do what you got to fucking do. So I used to work, 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 work. I finally got the chance to go to Philly to enjoy Made in America. And shortly afterwards, like maybe a week or so after that, my grandmother passed away. And like, luckily for me, I was smart enough to go and spend one last day with her before she passed. But still, that shit hit hard. Like, damn, do you know how much time I fucking lost working and holidays that I skipped to make some bread? Oh, God, that shit made me sick to my stomach. And even like... Now, I'm telling you, I miss my family. So, dudes, fellas, a lot of you have children. A lot of you have wives. Even if you don't get along with them, a lot of you have girlfriends, baby mamas, whatever. Find a way to get along, and you have to spend time together. Love each other, flaws and all. Flaws and all, forgiveness, man. You got to forgive, let go, and love them. They deserve love, too. We all fucked up. We all got shit wrong with so love each other and spend more time like you not gonna get time back money you can make any fucking time so even if you bang hustle grind a whole straight month and then you give your family two weeks straight of just you do that but spend time with your family work a little less every now and then and spend hella family time money isn't everything it helps is definitely beneficial you definitely needed to enjoy some type of shit with your family but at the end of the day you don't have to overexert yourself and try to force yourself to make as much as possible if that's in your cars the universe is gonna bring the bread to you so slow down just a little bit spend more time with your family you know get some things off laugh and fill your bucket with love because that's what really is all about You want to absorb as much love as you possibly can so that way you can pour out love. You can't give what you haven't received. So spend time with your family so when you're at work, you're not grumpy and cussing everybody the fuck out and just being nasty because you ain't had no love in a while, okay? Love you. I give y'all the love you need, for real. DM me. Rails loves you. Number six. Now, this is dope as well. I put journal and seek therapy. So, first off, I've been writing diaries since I was in elementary school. I remember I got my first diary. Hello Kitty. It was so cute. And I used to write the dumbest, nastiest shit. Yeah, I was a horny ass kid. Like, I used to be having sex with people in my diary, and I was like six. It was weird. But anyway, fellas, so I want you to journal because this way you're gonna be able to sit down and kind of the shit that you don't get to say like say for instance my married men who get frustrated and upset with their wives over shit that they do and they really want to say stuff to them but they don't want to hurt them they don't want no problems get this journal baby or I like to do video diaries so you can either record yourself like I'm doing now and just talk to yourself and delete it if you want to save it if you want to I like to watch mine's later on because they're fucking hilarious But at the end of the day, write down that negative shit and talk about it. What happened? Why are you mad? Why that shit pissed you off? And reflect on it and then let the fuck go. Either burn it, trash it, or keep it in a journal and never read the shit again. That's something I do. I don't read my shit over once I write it. I do watch my diaries, but it'll be years later, months later, when the situation don't even matter no more. Um, Now, seeking therapy, I... 
I wasn't forced to seek therapy, but I was presented the opportunity to seek free therapy for like two and a half months at when I went to UNCG. I had a course and we had to choose between like doing some interviews or fucking be in the interview, like being going through to therapy. Um, so I chose therapy because I literally was going through something at the moment, a super dark period. And I needed somebody to talk, so I needed an outlet. I was tired of being fucking angry. Like, I used to be hella angry. Like, worse than a whole fucking angry. I used to be so fucking angry. So, like, I'm in about everything. So, I was like, I need this therapy. I need to find out what's going on with me. And I don't even want to discuss what I found out. But... I'm better now and it definitely opened my eyes to a lot of things that helped me connect the dots on a lot of things that I've been through, a lot of things in my life, why they are the way they were. Um, and I learned so fucking much about myself and I was able to relieve myself of all the baggage I had been carrying my whole fucking life, all the resentment, the pain, the anger, the frustration from like a fucking child. Yes, like I was abandoned as a baby. So imagine carrying all that fucking resentment your whole fucking life. So it was amazing to go through this. So I'm telling you, fellas, even though it sounds crazy, therapy is fucking awesome. Find you a good therapist and just unload all that shit. If you were molested as a child, if you were beat to death every day, just spank for no reason, slap, punch, bully, whatever the fuck happened to you that's hurting you deep down inside. Go talk to somebody about this shit. Let it off of your chest. Let it off your back. Relieve your soul of that misery. I'm telling you, you will appreciate it. So go take care of that, okay? See, therapy and journal. Let the negative shit go. Get it out your mind. Get it out your soul. Goodbye. Number seven, hey, this is old school, but now they got it on audiobook. So for number seven, I want you to read. I want you to start reading more. Um, TV is filled with junk and lies and bullshit and propaganda. And they just trying to, I don't like the word propaganda, but I'm, what I mean by that is a bunch of bullshit that don't have nothing to do with nothing that they just sat around and made up just to sit around and stir the damn pot on the topics that they want to stir the pot on. I hate television. I luckily in California, people don't watch TV that much. So like the houses I've been staying in, ain't no damn TV. All the TV I watch is Mr. World Premiere dot TV and I watch whatever shows I like that pop up on there like Love and Hip Hop and Power and Greenleaf. That's all I watch. But anyway, so read more. Um, I'm going to also post a list of books that I want to definitely recommend for you in this season because we're talking about healing. So all these books are about mas like healing masculinity, helping men heal from old past trauma, molestation, rape, prison, whatever the hell you have been through. I want to help you. So I'm going to post a list of books that I would want to recommend for you to read, but I also want you to research yourself. Type topics, type people, type situations, events, places, anything, and find you some books that interest you, at least two books a month. Get you two books a month, read them. Now they have audio books. So you can literally go on your phone and download the book and somebody will read the shit to you. I don't like it. My attention span is retarded. I don't hear shit. Um, I hear it be in and out. Hopefully my subconscious is downloading it because I ain't hearing nothing. So I prefer to read it. But I listen to the audio books anyway. And then like I probably have to listen to it twice. <laughs> so um, if that's what you, you like, do your thing. I'm not knocking it. But I want you to read. Um, this is some more time that you can spend alone. Like go to the library. Go to Starbucks. Go to the car. Get away from the family. Read an hour a day. I don't give a damn. A chapter a day, nigga. Send it a fucking day. I don't care. Just get away. Um, I wouldn't even recommend reading the news because it's filled with a bunch of bullshit. But if that's what you want to do, read the news. Read Sports Illustrated. I don't give a damn. But read, baby. Read. Just fill your mind with knowledge and stop feeding your mind with so much bullshit. Social media, sorry. It's bullshit. I'm going to use it to the best of my ability, but it's 
flooded with bullshit. It's very toxic. It has a lot of nastiness up in the... It's just gunky. Um, it's not a horrible place. It's awesome for connecting with people who are like you and meeting new friends, dating, fucking having businesses. But there's a lot of nastiness going on on these social sites. So get off of there. Television. Yeah, I just said I watched Love and Hip Hop before a long time I did it. It's disgusting. The shit that they show on there is just like, what? Why are y'all sitting around watching this? But I ain't got shit else to watch. I don't have no entertainment here in San Jose. I don't have no drama. I don't have no, you know what I'm saying? I don't let that shit go on here. So that's what I choose to watch for a little bit. But I want you to read. I love reading. So if you want to swap books with me, nigga, let's do it. I would love to. Let's do it. So number nine is going to piggyback off of number eight. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Number eight is going to piggyback off of number seven. (laughs) So number eight, which is my lucky number. And I was trying to make everything eights for this month, but I just got carried away with this list. Um, But for number eight, I want you to study someone that you admire. So I know everybody has somebody that they wish that they could be like. Um, Like at one point it was Michael Jordan. Some people want to be Bron Bron. Uh, some people want to be Ron Ron. Some people want to be, you know what I'm saying, 2 chains. I don't give a damn. Gucci, fuck it. Whoever you admire, I want you to go and study that person. Follow their Instagram. Follow their events, what they're doing. Read their autobiography. Watch interviews of them on YouTube and kind of model what did they do to get to where they are. Because I'm telling you, everybody went through a struggle. This shit ain't easy. Being self-employed and doing what you your passion is is not a fucking easy game. So these people have been through it. Just like you're going to go through it. But model them. See what they did. If you can co- get in like direct connection with them, like through LinkedIn or something, connect with them. Have lunch with them. But study their page. Study who they are. Study how they move study like what are they into how are they helping the community what positive things have impact positive things or impact have they had on the world because i just put all that in one sentence (laughs) have they had on the world like study the fuck out of this person and this could be how you end up reading that could be your two hours of reading or your hour of reading or whatever is you studying this person But I want you to do that because not only is it going to motivate you, but it's going to give you that hope and that confidence that, you know what, if this nigga been through, like, I read Gucci Man book, Charlamagne book, if these niggas have been through all this and they still made it and they still doubt to this day that they deserve this shit, I know God got a plan for me. I know it. I feel it. I wouldn't be here in California if he didn't. I wouldn't be seceding in California if he didn't. So turn the fuck up. So, yes. I want you to admire somebody you love. I love Angela Rye. I love Steve Harvey. I love Jamie Foxx. And I love Gucci Mane. I love Charlamagne. I love Breakfast Club. So I study these people. Um, I done fell off. I'm going to get back on my shit too. But this is what I want you to do. This is number eight. All right, number nine. I had to start this video over because I fucked it up. (laughs) But... But number nine, I want you to spoil your skin, fella. Spoil yourself, head, body, meat, feet, all that. Um, What I mean by that is take care of yourself. Get you a good facial cleanser, a good exfoliator, a good mask, a good moisturizer. They got body polishes. They have body scrubs. I just actually put one on my body. That's why I'm glistening a little bit. Should I just scrub my body and I'm gonna post what I use for you because it's fire, it's very gentle, it's creamy, and they got what you need. And anyway, spoil your skin, take care of your skin, your body, drink your water, stay hydrated, eat them veggies, nigga. Keep that body right, keep that skin right because not only are you gonna boost your self confidence, you're gonna boost your stamina, your vitality. Bitch is gonna be on the uh they're gonna be on it women we horny too Ooh, did i say we i'm a woman so yes we we horny too and we're attracted to those things uh, we're not like y'all we don't wait around for dick pics we are attracted to things like hands what your feet look like what your skin look like what you what do you smell like 
Um, so spoil your skin, man. Take care of that. If you got a beard, condition that shit. Brush it. Keep it clean, for real. Like, keep that shit right. It's so attractive. And you're going to love yourself. Like, once you love yourself and you get that cocky in you, can't tell me shit. When I'm with the crew, swag it to the max. And my love food. Hey, and my love food. <laughs> so, yes. Take care of your skin, okay? And last but definitely not motherfucking least, this is probably the most important. I probably should have made it number one because I don't know how many of y'all going to make it to number 10. But number 10, back the fuck away from social media. Unless you coming to see Ray, Ellis, see Eddie, let it out. Nah, I'm playing. But no, for real, I want you to start limiting yourself on social media. What I like to do is I have a um, screen time monitor on my phone like all you motherfuckers do. So don't try to pretend like you don't. Uh, And I go and tell them, nigga, I don't want to be on any social site more than two hours a day, period. And I only set it at two hours because I have two businesses. I have two websites and two businesses that I'm running and advertising via social media that's the only reason why i need an extra hour an hour of work and an hour of personal other than that block it and the only time i don't block it or i like unblock it for a couple 15 minutes here and there is if i'm in the middle of posting something that's it so the reason why i say this is because i realized when i was going through my deepest darkest insecurities just hating myself it was because Social media has that effect on you. What it does is it creeps inside your mind and it kind of fucking plays with your self-esteem. Um, a lot of people, and I'm going to say 85% because everybody ain't phony, everybody ain't fake. What I post on my shit is real. And I know some people that what they post is real. Um, they might not post the negative shit, but what they, the positive shit is real and it ain't no made up shit. They just sat around and made up. But... One thing, and I don't know where I was going with that, but, oh, don't compare your life to that shit. It's like you sit around and you low-key be down to yourself. Like, I be looking at couples and people having babies, and I used to get salt dog. Like, bitch, I don't, who want to see that? A scar? Who want to see that? Bye. I don't give a fuck. But it was because I was bitter about my own situation. Now, once I healed that, now, oh, God. I was looking at one of my old college friends and her boyfriend, and I wanted to cry. You know what I'm saying? It was just so sweet and cute how much they love each other. You can see it and feel the love radiating through the fucking picture. And I was just so like, oh, I can't wait. Don't let social media fuck with you, though. Because, one, say if it's somebody that you wish you could be with, that you can reconcile with, you see them with another nigga. You sitting at home mad, but you don't know what they're going through. You don't know how she treat him, and you don't know how he treats her. A lot of time, it ain't what you want. Um, people be going on these fake-ass trips. I be hearing about where you can get photo shoots at these fake-ass trips. People be putting fake money, fake out to eat, fake niggas, fake bitches, all that shit, cap. So at the end of the day, don't sit around and compare yourself to that shit. But it will get you down, especially body image. That's what I had an issue with. I'm sure a lot of men have issues with this. Body image. You sitting around looking at these thick ass. And niggas looking at these cock diesel motherfuckers like. Don't be fooled. You don't know what they went through for that surgery. Goodbye. We're not worried about it. So at the end of the day. Stop scrolling through that. Stop looking at old shit. Stop looking at old hoes. Stop stalking your fucking wife, your girlfriend, your baby mama. Give a damn. Stop stalking them bitches. Stop stalking people. Leave people the fuck alone. Get your ass off social media and replace that with all of these beautiful things that I just listed on this goddamn list. I just listed 10 things that you can do. Well, nine other things that you could do. Back the fuck up off of that and fill it with one of these. I promise you will love yourself more. You will realize you ain't miss nothing. Don't go on there for like five days and then just go back on there. You're going to be like, I miss nothing. Like, I do this shit all the time. And I be so eager to get back on there when I get on there. I'm like, really? I miss nothing. (laughs) So, 
that's it all right so just to wrap that up i want to say thank you so very much i hope you made it through this long video um i truly believe in each and everything that i just listed for you i've done these things these things helped me and they've helped other men in the world because i did some research and this they named the exact same shit i named um listen do it baby i know life is hard you got a lot of shit on your plate you got a lot of things on your mind let it go release it relax reset get it popping like you don't have to dwell on it you don't have to let that sh that resentment and that anger rock with you for life that's one bitch that don't deserve to ride you feel bye bye resentment you gotta go bitch we don't have time for you in our lives so I definitely want to encourage you to heal. I'm about to post the book list. Go and read these fucking books and meditate, fellas. Get your skin right. Okay? Love you.